Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Kobe from Sanitarium Productions. We're back again with another action figure review. In this episode, we're taking a look at the WWE Series 105 Page. Very cool looking figure. I've always liked Page as a character and it's nice to get um, kind of a refresh of some of the earlier looking figures. Um, character outfits and things like that, I guess is the best way to say that. Um, but this particular package looks really nice. Uh, it's got a nice picture of, or photo of Paige here on the front. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a plain figure, but <laughs> flipping it over to the back, we have some of the other figures in this particular wave, Series 105. We've got Paige, Ronda Rousey, Roman Reigns, John Cena, and Lars Sullivan. So this is a 2019 release, and uh, Paige has not been an active wrestler for a while. So that's why I am actually really glad to see, uh, kind of, I guess this is a re-release. I'm not sure. I don't have one of the previous original figures to compare it against, which is one of the reasons I picked this one up is because it was easier to find than one of the original page figures. So anyways, I'm looking forward to it. So let's go ahead and dive into this thing. Uh, we'll go ahead and slice this open with our handy dandy X-Acto knife that needs sharpening. I'll get to that eventually. Sometimes it works really well. Sometimes it needs some coercion. So anyways, Slice that open, pull the figure out, and then we have the actual full photo. Really nice looking package in here. I like the, the red at the top and character name and the art and everything. So anyways, we'll toss that to the side for the time being. And we'll crinkle some plastic here and get the page out. She was being a little difficult there. Tossing that to the side. Let's go ahead and zoom in a bit. And we'll take a closer look here at Miss Paige. Uh, bear with me while I make a small adjustment here. Should be good right there. Uh, and I may have to adjust the light level because uh, while she is known as being a little pale, for whatever reason, it's kind of exacerbating things on the table here. So, uh, anyways, uh, first thoughts here is this is a very nice looking figure of Paige here. Uh, we've got some nice looking details here. We'll swivel that little knee pad around a little bit here. Um, yeah, I'm actually really, really impressed with the level of detail in this particular figure. Um, see if we can get in, dial this down just a little bit here. It's a fairly decent head scan. Um, not bad at all there. It looks really nice. It's pretty close to the way she looks on screen. Uh, I kind of think maybe she would benefit from maybe some lipstick on, but I don't know. Still looks really nice there. I do like the uh, light highlight there for her eyeshadow here. She does have her little uh, lip piercing there. I don't know how well that shows up, but that's pretty cool. Some nice hair details. Very nice uh, studs there painted on. I think those are painted. Are those painted? Those actually look like they are sculpted on there, so um, they feel like they're sculpted on there as well. So that may be actual sculpting work instead of paint on the, the studs there on her outfit right there. And you can see some nice detail there on the back of her outfit there. And that is all actual sculpted detail. So very cool. 
Uh, sculpted belt, nice detail on that as well. Nice silver studs all the way around. Uh, we can see some actual cross hatching there on the top of her pants. Shorts, sorry. Decent detail on the uh, knee pads there. A lot of detail here on the uh, the socks, I guess. <laughs> and the actual shoes themselves have quite a bit of detail too. You can see these, uh, those little straps on the back of her heels there. That's actually very cool looking. Very, very nice. Um, she is really loose here as well in that uh, chest joint there. Um, articulation, so the hair is uh, that same kind of flexible plastic there. Head does spin 360 degrees. You do have to kind of move that hair out of your way to get it to go where you need it to. Uh, not a lot of up and down motion. Um, it's a loose like that, that shakes as opposed to actually moving. Not a lot of side head tilt either, but uh, left and right is pretty decent. We do have the standard ball and swivel at the shoulder joint. Some decent detail in the arms as well, uh, definition wise. We have the now standard ball and swivel joint there at the elbow. We have a standard swivel joint at the wrist. We do have the standard ab crunch feature going on right there. Let's uh, turn that to the side. Quite a bit of motion there. Again, this particular one is very loose, so it uh, is kind of a rocker. You can go left and right and all the way back and all the way front, so very cool. Standard twist at the waist. Move her arm back again here. Standard ball and swivel here at the uh, hips and waist. So we go forward about that much, back about that much, side to side about that much, which isn't bad at all. Uh, we do have the twist at the top of the thigh there. Very cool. Underneath this movable knee pad, we do have the standard knee joint. <laughs> um, then we have, if I can get this to look here, uh, doesn't look like we have a twist joint at the top of the... Actually, it, it kind of does, but I think that's just sculpting. So I think that's all we got there. Uh, we do have a swivel at the top of the boot here, which is the top of the ankle. And then the standard swivel here, or rocker, sorry, at the ankle joint there. So all in all, not bad. Um, so you can move that knee pad up and down however you want. And if you put it just right, it still stays in place when you actually bend the knee. And it's a little fidgety, but not too bad. I'm just going to check that one there. Um... Yeah, it's it's a cool looking figure here. I'm actually really impressed with this particular figure of Paige. Um, drawbacks are just the, the way this one, and it's probably just this particular one, the way that the um, that chest articulation joint is just a little bit too loose for my taste. Um, but still, we've got a lot of articulation there, so that is a plus. Uh, I love the detail work on this stuff. I've... I'm actually really surprised at the level of detail in this particular figure in her clothing. Was not expecting that at all. But yeah, really nice kind of reuse of some of these parts. I think we've seen the the boots here or the lo lower legs uh, on some of the Bellas in the past maybe. But uh, still a nice looking figure here. I'm actually really, really impressed with this particular page figure. Uh, it's nice to have, to see her back in uh, ring gear. Uh, again, I missed out on some of those previous figures, so I've not had a chance to really look at a, one of these page figures in the past. So I'm going to try to dig some of those out, maybe to see how these compare. But uh, for a recent release, this is a really great figure. I don't know that we'll ever get a, an elite figure of Paige, since she's, again, not an active wrestler at the time being. 
So I guess time will tell, but in the meantime, uh, this is a really nice looking figure here. I'm actually really impressed with it. <laughs> so yeah, this one definitely needs to be picked up if you can. Well, that's all the time we've got for today, so thanks for watching. Drop some comments down below. Let us know what you think of this page figure. How does it compare to some of the previous releases? Again, this is uh, the first page figure that I have, so I really can't compare them. Um, but for me, it looks really awesome. It fits the bill for about everything. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm happy with this one. So <laughs> anyways, drop the comments down below. Let us know what you think. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to our channel. Check out some of our previous videos. Um, give us a thumbs up, a thumbs down. Like, share, subscribe. Whatever. Do what you want to do. Till next time.